Hey everybody, it's Kendra. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. It's Tuesday, time to do yay or nay. So my product today is what I have on my lips and that is the Burt's Bees lipsticks. So I believe these came out within the last couple months. These are relatively new products um, and I have two shades. So the one I'm wearing today is number 501 and it's called Blush Basin. Toot, toot, toot. So it's really, really pretty sort of like pinky, nudey, neutral sort of shade. And you'll see the next one on there too because I already swatched them. Um, the next color I have is called Scarlet Soaked, number 520. And this is, as you guessed, a scarlet color. So this is definitely a bit deeper, a bit richer. Um, very, very pretty, very, very lovely sort of red. So I have two shades of the Burt's Bees lipsticks. Um, I believe there are 12 shades available. They range sort of from like the nice sort of neutral, like nudie sort of shades. You've got some pinks, you've got some reds. I think there's a pretty orange. And then you've got some deeper shades, some plums as well. I picked mine up at Target. I have seen these available at Ulta. And you know, just kind of wherever like Burt's Bees products are sold. Um, the price range is seeming to be around like eight to ten dollars but it's super super nice because Ulta often has discounts on stuff and Target does mm, too so yeah very affordable very easy to find good range of colors okay let's talk formula so as you can see it's kind of dewy this is definitely not a matte lipstick it's very creamy it's super super lightweight it doesn't feel like I have anything on my lips you know this is sort of what you would expect from Burt's Bees Burt's Bees was super super famous because of their lip balm which I really was not a fan of by by the way I just I felt like they were too waxy and I didn't really like the scent the formula on these lipsticks I do not find it to be waxy at all it just feels very very nice hydrating, moisturizing, and I really like the way it looks. You know, I like that sort of satiny kind of dewy finish. So these lipsticks are 100% natural and they are loaded with essential fatty acids, I believe. I believe Moringa oil is one of the oils that they use in this. So I would say that with kind of like a natural-esque lipstick, you can't really expect the color to last all day. So these definitely do not wear for a super, super long time. I mean, if you're just talking, whatever, it's fine. But if you are eating, if you're drinking, these are definitely going to rub off. They're definitely going to kiss off, so you will need to reapply. Um, they are super, super easy to apply. I feel like it's just, like, they're, they just go on so, so smoothly, especially the nude sort of shades as well. Now, when I apply this, um, especially with the red, I do like to put on a layer and then blot and then put on another layer. Um, I do feel like that's going to give you the best sort of stain power um, because it's going to, you know, essentially stain your lips. Now, now, if you don't want a super, super bright, bold pop of color, you could totally just dab a little of this, you know, in the center of your lip and just sort of blot it out to just give you that tiny little stain, that tiny little pop of color. Um, the scent, I feel like the pink one has sort of a fruity scent. I feel like the red one doesn't smell too much. It's not a very strong scent. I have to actually like really focus and pay attention to like smell anything. Um, and once it's on, I don't smell anything and I do not taste anything, which is super, super important to me. Okay, so let's talk packaging super, super quick. Um, as you can see, it has this sort of like brown packaging with this honeycomb design and then the color of the lipstick is underneath. The color of the lipstick, it's a pretty good match. Like it's not spot on. Um, I feel like especially for the bolder colors, they definitely seem a bit more vibrant on the packaging than they do in real life. Um, one thing about the packaging that is a little bit annoying, um, because this sticks up a little bit when it's all the way down, you have to be very, very careful when you put the lid back on so you don't smudge it, so you don't smush that. Um, I don't know what my husband was doing. For some reason, he was looking at this one. So you can see that like the tip is no longer there because I don't, I don't know what he did. Well, I don't know why he was looking at this, um, but he definitely banged the tip of the pink one um, on the packaging when he was closing it up. So anyway, just be careful with that. So I really like the Burt's Bees lipsticks. I think it's really, really nice to see a product like this coming from Burt's Bees, you know, because it has a lot of color to it. It's not just a tinted lip balm like Burt's Bees has done in the past. Um, again, I'm so happy it doesn't have that weird, like, waxy, 
like whatever the scent is they used um, from the typical Burt's Bees lipsticks. I'm so glad it's not like that. I was super impressed with these. You know, I do find a lot of natural-esque sort of lipsticks and makeup products to just kind of be like, meh, whatever. Um, these I really, really liked. With that said, do not expect this to wear like, you know, a normal sort of standard chemically laden lipstick, okay? These are not meant to be worn, you know, to give you like 24 hours of wear. Do any lipsticks say that? I don't know. Um, so you definitely will have to reapply, but to me this is a very lovely sort of everyday lipstick. It's gonna give your lips hydration. It's not gonna dry out your lips. Feels really nice, gives you a nice pop of color, and they're super, super affordable too, like eight, 10 bucks for a lipstick, especially when you can totally find a deal on that as well. Go for it. I definitely wanna pick up a couple more shades of these. So there you go, big yay for the Burt's Bees lipsticks. Also, I would love to know if you have tried any other sort of natural lipsticks and your opinions on those, um, and which ones you would recommend. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.